is our big opening day. You know, we are set and ready for our first guest. It seems like a very exciting end to a good dream today. I hope I'm there welcoming the first guests, and I will probably do a little dance or a jump. We've been really busy getting the hotel together, but it's been almost like a party doing it. Really? I haven't seen a place like this. Only on TV. <laughs> Well, it's officially 3 o'clock on Thursday, May the 15th. I'm uh, pleased to announce that we've officially commissioned the uh, Homewood Suites by Hilton here in downtown Halifax. We're just um, ecstatic that we finally made it. Everything's set and ready. Um, today, especially, we're going to see guests walk in and actually communicate with guests, not just employees, which is great. But it's just nice to see a guest come in, we'll see the smiles on their face, and it's just a different experience. Well, today we're opening part of the dual brand hotel. We're opening the Homewood Suites um, and Silver Bridge Conference Center after almost two and a half years of being closed. I was the former general manager of the Citadel Halifax Hotel that closed in uh, January of 2012. So it's been two long years and five months of waiting and anticipation um, and planning and training and ordering and cleaning. And so today is the day that it all comes together and we get to open the hotel to the guests and back to the community. Before I was employed for approximately 27 years with the Citadel Hotel, 27 years and waiting for them to build it. Made it 29. <laughs> you missed the old building, but when I came back, the new building, it wasn't so much the building, it was just seeing the faces, some of the faces that I've worked with prior at the Citadel, which made it home. Uh, Silver Birch made it into the future. This is our future now, and it's a beautiful one, and we never thought it would ever turn out the way it did. This is a very special project of ours. It's, uh, we're undergoing the largest investment uh, of its kind for our organization, Silver Birch Hotels and Resorts. We've committed to $63 million in capital, and uh, we spent every dime of that. So it's a beautiful property. Uh, it anchors the corner here in downtown Halifax. It, that, that shows a gateway to the city, and it uh, really exemplifies some wonderful architecture. Uh, most importantly, the bricks and mortar reflect our values as an organization and invest in quality uh, materials and products, a sustainable investment strategy, and of course, uh, the investment in wonderful people. I just live like four blocks away from here, and every time I walk by, every time I drove by, I saw, like, they start building this building, they start building it, I said, one day I'm gonna work here. As soon as they hire me, I call my grandma and said like I got a job and it's like good for you. And so like and I feel like you know I, I feel like blessed for that one. You know, coming to work is something for me isn't a job. I love coming here every day. We have surrounded ourselves with people like that, that this isn't a job, this is a home. Um, and so when that starts from the inside, it spreads outwards and our guests will feel that culture when they arrive. It has such a great reputation. Um, beyond that, uh, it's just a great work environment. Everyone's so genuine and it's really like working with your family. It's really nice. I could not wait for the day to come back. It was just a matter of time for me. Um, and then, of course, the last four weeks of being on site and training and having fun and building the culture and momentum of the opening. They basically looked after us like we were their children in one aspect. And even the manager that are on site, everybody, like, it's just, it's one big family now. We like to think and we like to live the, uh, the, the notion that we care about our people. And I think it's as simple as that. We just care about our people, and hopefully that means that they feel that, and that'll make them want to stay with us. We, we hire a special group of people, and, and, and sometimes it's not the ones with the skill sets that uh, come from other hotels or other uh, industry-related um, uh, disciplines in food and beverage or front desk or maintenance or engineering and housekeeping. We actually hire on aptitude first. We want people to want to come to work every day. It's really taking the experience that they have and enhancing it with the in incredibly high brand standards in all of those areas, but also incorporating a very important culture piece into that training so that they understand at the end of the day 
The technical part of the job is important, but really the face that they show to the guest and their genuine uh, uh, desire to service that guest is really where the training uh, is, is, we think, uh, above and beyond what they may have experienced before. Well, you're unique, so you bring whatever you are to the hotel. Everyone's different, we all bring our own stuff, so I take pride in my own thing. I think I, I, think I know my style. I'm a little friendly with a sense of humor, with a little compassionate and sympathetic and all that, but still I can still have a good time, but still be pre professional at the same time. What I love about uh, uh, Silver Birch is fantastic uh, um, employees as well as um, they give you empowerment to make decisions for the guests so on the spot we can cater to whatever they need and just do the right thing and uh, make sure that they get the top-notch service that, that they deserve. I'm inspired by the company, um, the journey that we're going to take as an organization, the growth and development, the leadership of the organization. Um, so I'm just personally looking to continue to grow and develop and experience all that I can. I feel like this is a new chapter in my life. Um, I, I recently graduated from a human resources program. So this is the first step in my career, I believe. So it's only going to get better from here, and I'm maybe here for a very long time. Like I'm a part of like one of the executives. You know, I start new, I start fresh, I start with the opening team. I'm part like I've been here for a long time. And the biggest thing I think with it is, uh, I've only been back for a month now, and it seemed like I've never left. I, I just can't wait to start it to see. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs>